Hey, what's up guys? This is the Bitwell Gringo flat helmet, flat black, with a bubble shield on. Um, this is a helmet I've been using for about a week, and uh, it's got a retro style. Here you can see the similarities between it and an actual helmet from the 70s. Um, it's definitely fitting in. It has a, a very unique look. I know Bell makes a similar kind of a, a more modern featured uh, vintage style helmet. Um, this uh, brand Bitwell, I've been turned on to recently by a friend, and uh, they do some cool stuff. I don't know if you can see their logo here. I'll flip this uh, helmet around, and uh, we'll get it in there. Uh, the Bitwell Gringo, interesting name. DOT certified, hand painted, um, hand stitched. Um, it's pretty comfy. Uh, this is the XL size. I have a rather large head, and uh, fits me very well. You can see I have the chrome uh, smoked, uh, what do you call this, bubble shield. They also have a mirror that is even more reflective. This one's a little more low-key, but uh, still has that cool reflective look. Um, the uh, bubble shield also comes in tons of crazy uh, colors and uh, clear as well. And they also have a, a uh, shield that, let me get focused in here. It isn't quite so round here. It kind of comes down in more of an ang angular look. Um, they have another step up from this helmet that actually has a built-in visor that uh, moves on the helmet and uh, doesn't become detached. This one uh, is buttoned on, so actually pretty, pretty vintage. Um, let's see. Let me see if I can flip this over. There we go give you a look at the inside. Let's get some light in there. Um, yeah, as you can see, it has this cool diamond-shaped hand stitching, it says in the description on their Amazon page. And there's the tag in there. Yeah, this is a XL version and uh, removable liner and all that. Uh, also replaceable, so they sell replacements on their website if you, uh, after a year or so, feel like you want to replace it. Um, let me uh, put the camera down real quick, and I'll take off this bubble shield and give you a feel for it. All right, so this is with the bubble shield removed. It is a full face helmet. And uh, yeah, it looks really good without the bubble shield. I kind of like riding, I wear glasses usually, or uh, sunglasses, and I like to uh, kind of have the open face feel, uh, but with the added safety of the full face there on the, on the chin side. And uh, this, this helmet does a good job. And uh, you can see looking through that bubble shield, it is a little bit clear. This is just the smoked mirror version. Maybe it's just the angle, that's interesting. Um, but yeah, it's quite reflective. As you see there. The shape of the helmet. Uh, it's probably because mine is an XL, but it's actually, in, in shape-wise, it's, it's a little bit bigger than this, than this old, actual 70s helmet. Um, but yeah, very comfortable. Let's see, what else can I tell you about it? This is a flat black version. They uh, also sell it in hazard orange and white and many different colors, custom colors as well, um, with cool pinstriping and, and uh, so forth. But uh, why don't I put it on for you? All right, so I wear glasses normally, so I need to take those off before I put it on. Get it on there. Fix it up. Very comfortable uh, strap. And it also uh, buttons somewhere. There it is. Adjust that to your chin. And uh, yeah, that's what it looks like. Then you can replace your glasses here. It might look a little different on you. This is an XL size. Now, when using the bubble shield, uh, because I wear glasses, I leave the middle button unlocked so that it has a little bit of play here. Not stressing these two at all, but it does have a little bit of play here with this middle one unbuttoned. That way I can lift this up, have room to put my glasses on, then I line this up uh, just by feeling it and push it and lock it. If you don't wear glasses, you can have this pre-locked already. Just put it on, you're ready to go. Uh, only disadvantage to having this retro uh, fitting is at a stoplight, say, you can't flip up your visor and say what's up or, 
you know, uh, that sort of thing. Uh, it's pretty much locked down unless you want to unbutton it. Um, so yeah, I'll show you that. So yeah, lift this one, this up. I'm not very graceful. Put your glasses on. This is just the quickest way I've found. Pull this tight. Feel up here. As you pull it tight, try to line it up. This little button needs to line up with that. And then you push, snapped on. Now it's very secure. Now when you need to get off and take off your glasses, you hold right here, pull down, pops, pull open, take off. And so yeah, there you go. That is the Bitwell Gringo full face helmet. I will leave a link to the uh, page on Amazon where I found it. You can uh, read some reviews on there of other people that have bought it. Generally, I think it has a pretty close to a five star rating. And I think it's honestly because of the uh, aesthetics of it. It looks really nice. And honestly, they did a good job with the uh, lining on the inside. It looks great. It feels great. Um, it's, it's exactly what you pay for. Um, but yeah. They also have a couple other, they have a three-quarter helmet as well in the same style. Uh, you'll be able to find that just in the related items and such. I'll link you to the medium size because that's what most people wear. Uh, and you can find them on the uh, related items. I'm getting distracted playing with my focus. I don't know if you can tell. But yeah, the Bitwell Gringo with the bubble shield.